Ladies and gentlemen, we need to see a match between Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins very, very soon. Why is that? You see, at WrestleMania 40, there was the main event between Roman Reigns and Cody Rose, where Roman Reigns was defending his undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Uh, the match went well, you know, no, no, no issues whatsoever. Um, but, you know, after a while, people started coming in. You know, you had Jimmy Uso that was stopped by Jey Uso, you then had Solo Sikoa that was stopped by John Cena, who was stopped by The Rock. And then when The Rock was in the middle of the ring with the infamous waist belt, you know, of Mama Rhodes, we heard the Shields' theme song. Now, I'll admit, at first, I thought it was Dean Ambrose, okay? Quickly, I realized there is no flipping way that he was coming back, okay? But I really thought it was going to be Dean Ambrose, okay, coming back. I even posted a TikTok about it, and it blew up. So I guess I'm not the only one that thinks that. Um, but it was Seth Rollins, dressed in the shield gear with a steel chair in his hands. Uh, but unfortunately, he was destroyed, you know, because of the, you know, night one main event uh, the night before. And, you know, his match versus Drew McIntyre on night two. He was exhausted, so he couldn't do anything. And he was stopped very quickly by Roman Reigns. But the thing is... Towards the end of the match, there were there was Roman Reigns standing in the middle of the ring. Okay, he was there with the steel chair, with the steel chair, the same steel chair that Sir, that Seth. Uh, I'll get closer. The same steel chair that Seth Rollins used uh, like ten years before to betray him and betray the Shield. He had that steel chair in his hand, and he could either hit Cody Rhodes, who was his opponent in the match, hit him with the chair, pin him one, two, three, and retain the belt. Or get revenge on Seth Rollins, who had done the same thing to him, you know, almost 10 years, 10 years ago. And Roman Reigns chose to hit Seth Rollins. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is, first of all, it is pure storytelling. It was incredible. And also, it just shows you that the rivalry between these two is never ending, or at least it needs a proper ending. Because we haven't had a a big match between the two ever since you know the last match was at the royal rumble between the two of them in 2022 but it ended in controversy because you know roman reigns just wouldn't let go of seth rollins so he lost but by disqualification so reigns retained the universal championship but we need an actual feud between the two centered around this entire thing you know the betrayal of seth rollins how it's still resonating with roman reigns you know it's still in his head he doesn't want to stop believe well thinking about it and we need to talk more about this. So I've seen it a couple of times on all social medias, uh, maybe you too. But there were rumors of a potential match between Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins at SummerSlam. Now, is it actually going to happen at SummerSlam? I have no idea because Roman Reigns apparently is currently filming a movie. If you've seen my community posts, you've seen the picture I've posted of it. So I don't know, but I just want to see this match. And I think a lot of people want. And it's not only the match itself, it's just the rivalry around it, you know. The history between these two guys. And you could technically say that Roman Reigns lost the championship that he had had for 1,316 days because of Seth Rollins. And, you know, this is where this is where it becomes a problem. This is where you can, you know, build an entire storyline around it and finally try to bring an end to this huge rivalry between Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins, you know, and get the revenge for what happened, you know, 10 years ago when Seth Rollins betrayed Roman Reigns. And Seth Rollins, once again, technically cost Reigns the title. So Reigns would probably want to get revenge. He would want to get his hands on Seth Rollins and just show him that, you know, he's the one and that Seth, you know, doesn't hold anything against him. Because if you look at the entire roster, the only person so far that has been able to get inside of Roman Reigns' head is Seth Rollins. You know, it, during his entire reign as Universal Champion, you know, before Cody Rhodes, okay, this year, the only person that had beat Roman Reigns was Seth Rollins because Reigns got disqualified. Yes, okay, it's just a DQ, okay, it doesn't mean much, but still, he's the only person that technically won against Roman Reigns, you know, in a title match, and that is crazy. And even now, at WrestleMania, Roman Reigns lost the championship because of Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins has always been inside of Roman Reigns' head, and they need to play with this, you know? Roman Reigns can beat anybody on the roster, but Seth Rollins will always have his number. And that is a perfect storyline and it would make for an incredible match at SummerSlam. You know, the two could face off. There are rumors of Cody Rhodes uh, facing off against The Rock at SummerSlam. It could be such a stacked card. It could be incredible. Uh, we could see Drew McIntyre versus CM Punk at SummerSlam. Okay. I'll probably make a video soon where, you know, I'll present my dream match card for this year's SummerSlam. Because it could just be incredible okay incredible 
and having a match between Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins would just be incredible. I I keep using the word incredible. It's not it's not it's not working out so much for me, but you know it would be awesome. It would be fantastic. Not a dictionary, my guy. But you know, I think it could be so cool to see them finally go back at it. You know, now in twenty twenty four, when where they're like at their peaks. You know, even though Roman Reigns isn't champion anymore. He's still in great physical shape. He's still considered one of the greatest of all time. And fans already want him back. A lot of fans already miss him, okay? You can check my video where I talk about whether the fans are turning on Cody Rhodes already or not. You know, the fans are already missing Roman Reigns. Seth Rollins is all, you know, everybody's missing Seth Rollins as well. And it would just make for such a great SummerSlam match, a great rivalry, probably one of the greatest rivalries we'd have seen in the past years, honestly. So yeah, but what do you guys think? Do you think WWE should, you know, create a rivalry between Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins and book them a match at SummerSlam? Would you want to see this? You know, and who would you want to see come out on top? Tell me all of this in the comments down below. Make sure you like the video, you subscribe, click on the little bell, okay? So you get notified whenever I post a new video. I would really appreciate that. Um, by the way, you may have noticed, okay, new camera. I think it looks better, okay? It seems cool. I look good, as always. But yeah, I think it looks better. I quite like it. Tell me what you think about this as well. Thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.